Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Eve, this is Everyday Artist, and welcome. She's all excited. Yeah, she just came in from outside. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, she usually comes up over here, but uh, I don't, lately she don't wanna do that, so. Anyway. Uh, it is already uh, July 9th. Wow. Not July. What is this month? September. <laughs> and the month is zipping on by. Have I gotten my whip go done? No. Uh, because I, as you know, I can't count. So I am, this is cross-stitching for fun, Art Deco Spring, and uh, they don't have an Etsy shop anymore. They used to, um, but they have a Facebook presence and you can find their, their shop through there. Anyway, I fell in love with the, they have all four seasons and I fell in love with them. And, I didn't realize how long they were going to take me to do <laughs> but it doesn't matter because I'm going to finish them eventually. So this is where I am on the spring. Now I had this beetle done, but I was fudging part of it because I realized after I did all of this color all the way around that it was one stitch too short. And I said, well, it's not going to matter. And I went ahead and finished it. And then I thought, okay, I can start this next one. I'm like, wait a minute, then that'll put it in the wrong spot. I said, well, I'll start over here and see how it goes around like that. But I'm like, what, what if I don't make this one the same exact as that one? So I took all this out. So that means that this, so I took the whole thing out up to like here. I had the whole bug done with the exception of the backstitching. So This flower wasn't done when I started, and this, and this tiny little start on a bug that looks just like this. Um, so, this is the bug that I did wrong. And you see the gap here? It's not horribly big, but it's bigger than over here. And I thought, oh, okay, I could just go like that. I just decided, you know what, I'm gonna take it out and do it right so that I don't have to worry about the curve being right. But <laughs> I was annoyed with it. So I did a itty bitty tiny start on Cranes by Alf Forest Embroidery. And um, it is a very narrow pattern, but long. And it'll be the length of this. This is the front side, sorry. Uh, it'll be the length of this, which is 18 inches. Well, that's including my margin. But this is exactly 18 inches, and I was like, yay! <laughs> um, but it's a little wider than half. And I don't have an iron. Uh, I want to sell this house so badly. 
Speaking of which, before I continue, I am doing this this late because Beth had an appointment this morning at 8.30 a.m. in downtown Phoenix, which it took mm, a little over half an hour to get there. And then I had to wait for her. And on the way back, my son calls me and he says, somebody wants to see the house. How does that work with your schedule if they come around one? And we're like, um, it should be okay. So we get the house all ready and we are just ready to just wait until they, it's almost time for them to get here and we can grab the animals and go while they're in the house. And my son said, actually, they're going to have to reschedule. And he was hopeful that they would reschedule for today. So we've kind of been in this little holding pattern, right? And so far, crickets. So I said, I'm, I'm just going to do my video. I can always pause it if I get a text that they want to come. So anyway, oh, story time. I love Dutch Brothers, and one of the drinks that they have is a uh, blue raspberry lemonade, and I decided instead of iced, I would get it frosted. Uh, this is a drink that has sugar, even though I'm not supposed to drink sugar, and I never get the thing blended. I usually get it iced because it's just easier for me to drink. And because I never get it blended, I was not aware of the sweating. So I sat it on a napkin on the dining room table. I was gonna to have to leave very quickly because they had been photographing the house and we were waiting outside and I couldn't eat my lunch and I didn't drink very much of my drink. And I brought it inside and I sat it on the dining room table. Mind you, it had been sitting in the cup holder and I had to take it out of the cup holder and take it inside. I walked it through half the house and took it to the dining room table. And I said, wow, that's really sweating a lot. And I put some more napkins under it. And I said, you know what? I'll drink this when I get back. I had to go teach a class. I stuck it in the refrigerator. I get back from the class and I was so happy to have a frosted drink. So I got the drink and took it out of the refrigerator and walked it over here to an end table. And I looked over there after a minute or two and I have these cup holders that have a lip on them. And it was full and it was leaking over onto the table and I was like that's not sweating and I said to my son I think this cup has a leak and he looked and he's like it definitely has a leak so I picked it up and walked it to the kitchen which is just right here walked it over there you know like this and uh, poured it into uh, a non uh, disposable cup and went about trying to clean up. There was a trail of sticky from the garage door over to the dining room table, from the dining room table over here to over to the refrigerator, from the refrigerator over here and up onto the um, end table. And I said, oh no, and I went and I looked in the refrigerator and there was a lake, a lake of sticky. Um, because, like I said, it's a sugary drink. And I'm trying to clean it up and trying to clean it up, and it was so liquidy that it was just very difficult. So finally, I get it, um, get it cleaned up. The next day, I go out to the car, 
and I look down and I can see that there's about this much liquid in my cup holder. Uh, Beth had an appointment I had to take her to, so I'm cleaning up the stuffing napkins in there and wiping it out and um, finally got it all all cleaned up, cleaned up. And because um, I didn't have anything wet to clean up the sticky. I had an appointment later that day. I opened up my sunshade and it is stuck together. And I got it unstuck and I pulled it up there and I'm like, Ugh, it'll be all right, it's all right. <laughs> it keeps sticking to the, to the dash. And I'm like, I guess I need a new one. <laughs> so it has not been a, it has not been a week where I can just, you know, relax. And so right now I am so tired <laughs> and, and I'm like, I really want to stitch, but I don't think I can keep my eyes open. That was one of the reasons why that start is so little. I was all excited to start it. And then I was just like, I can't even see the holes. This is 25 count. Um, I think Lugana uh, from Hobby Lobby. That's upside down again. So I don't even know if they carry this anymore. I don't think so. But that's a middle start and it's not even the whole it's not even the whole wing, but I didn't want to try to count it more, so I just went, well, whatever. I don't know how much I'm going to work on this because, like I said, I just started working on it because, A, I wanted to start it, and B, I wanted to do something that wasn't that bug. That bug made me so mad. Okay, it was me. It wasn't the bug's fault, but, you know, I'm going to blame it on the bug because I can. So now we come to the temperature charts. Okay, hold on. I'm trying to not have these fall everywhere in case they text me and I have to pick everything up quickly. Okay. So this is the 2023 temperature sal, and I'm working on the bottom part with the flowers. And I am almost all the way across. I am so pleased with the way this looks. Now I'm reluctant to go ahead and so, so, stitch all of the rest of the border mostly because the color is the same color that I'm using for not the hottest color, but pretty much the hottest color um, for the turtles. I'm gonna have to go get another skein, I think, but that's okay, because I need a color that's in the cranes. Um, so, Stitch Your Mommy's Temperature Turtles. I thought it was cooling off. There was a day, now, on the chart that I use that has the temperatures for the day, it said it only got up to 115. I was driving home from somewhere and my phone said it was 119. Not the car, because that's usually hotter than what it actually is my phone said it was 119 and I believe my phone because it was one of those it was so hot in the car that by the time you get home you are just dripping like you had been in a rainstorm um, so I had to use a color that was for hotter than 100, 110 
114. Um, so this is the beginning of September and it's hotter, it's redder than the end of August. I saw a TikTok person that uh, commented that now that it's cooler and you might have your windows open, you have to be really careful about uh, letting go of F-bombs because your neighbors could hear them because you have the windows open. And I texted and I said, mm, yeah, it's still over 110 here. It's technically it's over 105. I said, so if you go out to your car and accidentally touch the metal of your car in the wrong place, I assure you bad words will be said because I can't tell you how many times I've touched something. I mean, even touching the steering wheel, putting the sunshade up, unless that sunshade is in the right spot, the sun's going to come in the car and it superheats everything. There was a, a commercial, I think for air conditioning, you know, or plumber or something, when it's so hot that you get branded by the seat belt, you know, the metal part of the seat belt, you know, you have to go like this and put it. Yeah. Yeah. It hurts. <laughs> so, uh, I'm, I'm like, yeah, none of our windows are open, <laughs> but, but we still have that problem. Anyway, that is all that I have. Very short video. I should pick up some of the other things that I was stitching on before we, I was trying to do uh, cross stitch camp, especially since there's not really any packing or stuff to do. I, straightening up, you know, for somebody to come see the house is not the same thing. So now I'm trying to find some place for us to live that is not in Santan. You know, I am not, I was never somebody that was afraid to drive a distance until I started leaving, living here. I grew up on the west side of Albuquerque and my father drove all the way across, he went over the river and all the way across the city to the, uh, to the base. He, he worked there at Sandia Labs. And where we lived was unincorporated Bernalillo County. And when we first, when we were kids, there was no hospital. There wasn't even a junior high or high school. We had to go across the river for that. Um, there was no shopping. The grocery store was across the river. Um, it was driving a distance and that's how I grew up. So I'm not so much afraid of driving a distance. I just don't want to have the things I want to go to every day that are not, I'm not talking about a job, I'm talking about, you know, going to your doctor or going to um, church or whatever. Um, I don't want to have to drive all the way across town to go there. And yes, I can get different doctors. Yes, I can change churches. Yes, I can get my prescription somewhere else. You know, I, I just, there's certain things that don't move and you can't get another one of. My sister has season tickets to the symphony and I was looking at uh, a house in one of the, in the area where my son wants us to look. And I was like, it would take an hour to drive there. And my sister doesn't drive. So the cost of an Uber for an hour would be astronomical. And I would have to drive her there 
figure out what to do for two hours, three hours while she's listening to the symphony and then drive her home. No. Uh, the, 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 that place is just too darn far. I, you know, and I keep thinking, well, there's got to be a different solution. Nothing that is makes sense, you know? Um, driving to the symphony from here, it isn't particularly close, but it's not an hour. <laughs> and so so it's, it's challenging, you know, because you get in your comfort zone and you're like, but I like it here. So, peace and pray that my mind will open up to different possibilities and to find some other way for my sister to be able to go to the things that she wants to go to um, where someone driving her is impractical. Anyway, uh, that is not about cross-stitch. <laughs> Also, um, it was something, I don't know. I'm hoping you guys have a lot cooler summer than we're having and uh, it's getting into fall and it still has summer, summer temperatures. Um, hopefully, uh, we will have lots of people viewing our house between now and the next time I speak to you all. Uh, thanks for listening and happy stitching. Bye.